I'm working on this 2016 F-150 again. I'm going to show you guys how to make a few power steering system adjustments. What we're actually going to do is we're going to turn off the uh, road crown assist or the uh, steering wheel assist that can detect if you're holding your steering wheel in a certain position for a long time and then it readjusts the zero. Kind of a weird feature. I don't really care for it. It kind of bothers me, especially when you're like if you're driving on a road that does have a crown, which means it's kind of like this, you know, and you're kind of holding the steering wheel just a tiny bit sideways. It'll automatically correct for that. But then when the road's flat again, the steering wheel correction doesn't go back. A lot of times it does. It's just kind of slow and it's frustrating. So what you're going to need for this is four scan, which is a Ford diagnostic software. You can use any laptop as long as it has a USB port or you can get a USB adapter. I'll put links in the description for the ones that I like. I've had a bunch of different ones. Um, I prefer the USB one, but there are a few wireless ones I've used that are also pretty good. So we're going to go to the left hand side, this little microchip thing it says configuration and programming. Then we're going to go on the left hand side. We have PSCM module as built, which you want to save that or take a picture of it. This is how you go in writing codes to change things. They also have an easy function, which is right here, module configuration. So we're gonna select that, click play. This is kind of like the easy method where it's all in English and it's just words instead of programming. And um, what we're gonna do right here is pull drift compensation. So that is what detects road crown or any kind of pulling and compensates for it. I don't like it. I think it's weird. So this is how you shut it off. You're going to go down here, select it, edit, selected, and disabled. Then hit the check mark right there. Okay, once you do that, it's going to ask you to, uh, well, you're going to need to write it. So click right down here. It's going to write it. It's going to load up, and then it's going to tell you to cycle your key off and back on. And we'll click OK. And that's pretty much it. So now you can see that it's disabled. So you can also go ahead and check these different things inside here. There's a few different things you can do. The Mustangs and the trucks and all the different vehicles that have electronic racks are going to have different settings built in. But that's the only one we're going to change right now. Another thing that you can do is the tune selector, which, uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to hit the stop button there. Okay, go back into module configuration is the uh, vehicle tune selector. So if we click that and do edit selected or just double tap it, we can see right now we're on comfort. That's gonna give you the easiest steering feel. And then we have sport. I don't remember what normal does. Uh, I think I've tried it and it's just a little more, uh, a little more stiff. But yeah, that's how you select that if you want to change that. And then torque steer is obviously gonna be for front wheel drive and uh, there's different values for that. So anyway, this is just for the steering compensation right here, pull drift, and uh, we're going to leave it alone at that. So if you have any questions about what you saw here, put it in the comments, and I'm going to make a few other videos on the uh, electronic steering system on these trucks in the future. Thanks for watching.